Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta. And today we will understand how to run decision tree using predictor operator in Nine. A decision tree is a supervised learning algorithm used for classification and regression task. It splits the data into subsets based on the features of the data set and creates a tree-like structure of decisions to predict the target variable. It's a tree-like model that is constructed by recursively splitting the data set into smaller and smaller subsets based on the most significant features that discriminate between the different classes or the values of the target variable. The decision tree consists of nodes, edges, and loops. The nodes represent the decision rules or test on the input features. The edges represent the possible outcomes or the values of the test and the loops represent the predicted class or value of the target variable. The construction of the decision tree begins by selecting the most informative feature that best splits the data set into subsets that are most homogeneous with respect to the target variable. The process is repeated recursively for each subset until a stopping criterion is met, such as a predefined depth or a minimum number of samples per leaf. Let's take a very small example here. The variables are outlook, temperature, humidity, wind and windy and on this basis we have to take the decision that John will play the tennis or not play the tennis. So this is our decision and the target variable is play tennis. So when the outlook is sunny, temperature is hot, humidity is high, irrespective of windy or not windy, John does not play the tennis. But if you see the overcast, irrelevant of temperature, humidity or windy, John plays the tennis. For rain outlook, uh, we have to see is it windy or not windy. So the first split is based on outlook. For a sunny outlook, the next thing we check is humidity. For rain outlook, we check that it is windy or not. Now, what will be the criterion for selecting the first split? The first split will be, uh, will be selected on the basis of where you get the maximum information. For example, if I take sunny, so here it is no, no, and he, if I take sunny here, no, yes, and if I take sunny here, yes. So there are equal number of yes also, and there are equal number of no also. So this is an impure, or rather it is impure node. The pure node is this one, overcast, where we get, we get, we get, a very clear information overcast if it is overcast then john plays the tens so this is considered to be the pure node so at any node when the target variable consists of 50 50 percent cases it is an impure node and definitely it will not split it will not consider that uh, that criterion for splitting so you can see here the decision tree is starts we consider outlook overcast is considered first because it is having a maximum information 100% yes and therefore it's a pure node but in case of sunny as we have already seen 50% chances are there that a john will play the tennis and john will not play the tennis now it this decision depends on the humidity levels if the humidity level is normal john plays the tennis if it is high john does not play the tennis now, how to detect the purity of the node? The purity of the node is detected on the basis of information gain or Gini ratio or Gini index. So, when the outlook is raining and is wind strong, John does not play the tennis. If the wind is weak, John plays the te tennis. So, this is our root node, this is a decision node and this is a terminal. Now there are some criterions which are for splitting as we have already discussed we consider Gini index and gain ratio or information gain for splitting this node. The maximum depth of the decision tree if it is set to the higher value the tree can become more and more complex. Now what is this maximum depth? depth let's try to understand. 100 cases are there which got splitted into 70 and 30. In the first layer. In the second layer 70 again got splitted into 40 and 20. Now, if I specify the minimum bucket size to be 30, then 
this leaf is possible as it is more than 30 this leaf is possible but this leaf is not possible as the minimum bucket size is less than 20 so this is our minimum number of samples per leaf so the minimum number of samples per leaf required to create the leaf node if specified then it helps to control the complexity of the tree and avoid the overfitting the maximum depth means how much we should go so if i specify maximum depth as 2 so 1 2 if i set higher and higher values again the tree will become more and more, more complex and there are chances that the tree overfits the data the next comes the pruning strategy options available are no pruning reduce error pruning and cost complexity pruning now how to run let's see in nime analytics platform first of all i'll activate input output from here i'll activate i'll double click on it I'll browse the data set which is in CSV format. Part 1, click open, click OK. Right click on it and execute. Again right click on it and see the file table. So here heart disease. A patient is having a heart disease, yes or no. That is our uh, target variable. So we want to create a decision tree based on age, gender, chest pain type, resting blood pressure, cholesterol, fasting blood sugar we will not consider, resting ECG, maximum hours of exercise, exercise angina, old pick and ST slope. So ST slope is here flat up and down. Uh, sorry, it's up flat and there is one more thing up flat and is there any other thing okay up flat and down three cases are there similarly chest pain type ata nap and as1 now activate the column filter from here for those variables which you don't want to consider while creating the decision tree so let's right click on it configure i want to remove the fasting blood sugar click ok right click on it and execute now activate the color manager from here right click on it configure specify the hard disease make sure if you want you can check change the color also for yes i'll make it green for no i'll make it red click ok right click on it and execute so in my previous video i had discussed about how to activate the learner in this video we are going to talk about predictor so this is entry learner configured make sure hard disk is on quality measure we are considering is basically the criterion for splitting the node that how to detect the purity of the node it is decided on the basis of gain index or gain ratio click ok right click on it and execute again right click on it and you can see the decision tree both these things i have discussed in my previous video anyway i click here decision tree view so if there are 918 observations 508 in case of 508 cases a patient was having the heart disease if this 508 is again splitted further we get 317 381 49 so if the st slope is up now let us understand what is the interpretation of this when st slope is no oh sorry when st slope is up the patient is not having the heart disease so out of 395 there are 317 patients which did not have any heart disease in case of st slope up when if it is flat 460 such cases are there in which 381 had a heart disease so it is 82.8 percentage right here you can see the uh, the bar chart it is red is more and that is for no here green is there and therefore it is for yes similarly click here 
uh, here out of 63 cases when ST slope is down out of 63 cases 49 had the heart disease. Now I can further break down this decision tree and let's see if I click here on plus sign it again gets uh, segregated into four. What is the chest pain type in a patient? So if it is 80 out of three cases two did not have a heart disease. Out of 10 cases of NAP five did not have the heart disease. Out in case of TA, out of four cases, three did not have the heart disease. But when it is ASY, out of 46 cases, 42 had the heart disease. So it is very clear that when ST slope is down and if it is ASY, the probability that the patient is having a heart disease is more. Let us again move forward and press the plus sign. Let us check the cholesterol level. It is not dependent on cholesterol because on either side it is yes and yes. But if the cholesterol is uh, less than or equal to 299.5, there are more percentage. Let us move forward from here. Resting blood pressure. So here also, uh, if it is less than or equal to, the probabilities are or rather the percentages are same. Again, press plus sign. Exercise angina, yes, yes. Resting ECG. Uh, if it is normal, resting ECG is normal. Two such cases are there out of which two had a heart disease. So you can go on dividing uh, the node like this, right? So this is a way you can uh, run the decision tree learner. But we want to do the prediction now. So uh, let's close this and activate the decision tree predictor from here. So on the basis of this learner, let's try to predict for our data set what should be the, uh, a patient should be having a heart disease or not. Right click on it and configure. Change prediction column, append columns with the normalized class distribution, click OK. Right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and see the classified data. So we are having the prediction here. And this is our original uh, data, heart disease. And this is the probabilities of yes, and this is the probability of no. So this is the way you can run decision tree predictors in NIME. For more videos on NIME, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please refer my playlist in which I have already uploaded many videos on NIME.